When a loved one is diagnosed with a terminal illness, the stress and sadness can be overwhelming. But instead of focusing on the dying, families should concentrate on the final stages of living. Amity Hospice understands that hospice care isn't just for the patient, it's there to support the entire family. Amity Hospice is approximately nine years old and we were thought of due to the fact that we wanted to change the way hospice care was delivered in the Metroplex. Um, we wanted a more boutique style hospice with individualized care and communication between the physicians who had been caring for the patient and our clinical team as they approach end of life. The definition of Amity is friendship and we believe that as people approach the end of life, friendship and love is what they need and that's how we came upon the name. The first visit that I do in patients' homes, and I make it a point to try to do it at the patient's home, it's a, it's a comprehensive visit. Patients who are coming onto hospice, um, they have not just the hospice-related problem, they have multiple other medical problems too that need to be sorted out. So generally what I do is I review all their records. I try to bring in all the potential caregivers at the patient's bedside because they are part of the care team. Everyone has a unique story to tell when it comes to hospice care. Everyone deserves someone to listen. Every member is critical. The, it is a circle of care. We surround that patient and we want to ensure that any aspect that we are able to assist with that we can and that we do. I think hospice social work is really unique in the sense that we are being invited into a, either by the client and or by the family, we're being invited to walk with them during this journey. So it's really a sacred time. It's a very private, intimate time. So it's, it's just important and the value of it really is just to assist clients and their families to navigate the unknown really, the scary part of what, what to prepare for. I've been doing palliative and hospice for eight years, and although um, those doctors are very specialized in what they do, experts at what they do, um, Dr. Song goes the extra mile by actually making house visits. Hospice isn't just for the final days or weeks. Good hospice care starts months in advance. What we're trying to do is the remaining time that a person has, and no one has a crystal ball to tell you exactly when that is going to happen, but whatever time you have left, to live that every day as comfortably as possible, surrounded by your family and friends, to do the important things that you need to do to wrap up your life. Individualized plan of care is part of the hospice services that we provide, and the reason for that is everyone has different wants, wishes, and desires how they want to spend the end of their life and what is important to them. It may be important for me to spend my time outside. It may be important to someone else that they want to just read scripture and be with their loved ones. People may want to have a lot of people around. People may not want to have people around. So we just meet them wherever they are and develop that based on the needs of the patient and family. If you have a loved one that's ready to start living with Amity Hospice, visit their website, amityhospice.com, or go to our website, thebalancingact.com.